So, Mike Williams, one of the most underrated wide receivers in the entire NFL. Yeah, he's maybe not, you know, crazy, but, you know, he makes some big plays, and he is really a big play wide receiver, a big body wide receiver that not many people talk about. Yeah, I get that he was a really high pick, and he absolutely did not, um, you know, reach those expectations. But at the same time, you know, people kind of forgot about him, though. You know, the, he, he kind of fell off the radar. And real quick before I get into stuff, I just want to say, I thank you for tuning in to the JDW Sports Talk Show. And I'm going to talk about Mike Williams, of course, as I started out. Um, you know, one of the more underrated wide receivers in the league. Big body, six foot four. you know, not really the fastest. But, you know, he'd go up there and make those huge catches, um, those big-time contested catches. You know, he could really go up there and snag one. Um, you know, n- nonetheless, a really, really good big body wide receiver. Um, you know, his first year in 2017, um, he had more of an injury. He didn't see this. He didn't see the field that much. So, you know, not much that you can really talk about there. Um, 2018, he where he had you know a decent year, actually a really good year. You know, or three receptions, not a ton. 664 yards, not a crazy ton. His, his average was 15.4 yards per reception, which is actually really solid. And then he had 10 touchdowns that year, which is really good for, you know, his first real year because of last year, you know, he was hurt a bit. And, you know, 10 touchdowns for his first, you know, real NFL season is really impressive. Um, You know, yeah, he did have that year to learn while he was hurt and, you know, go over the playbook more and, le- and learn the playbook more. So, you know, that... That definitely helps, but nonetheless, a really underrated wide receiver that the Chargers do have here. Um, 2019 did take a step back in touchdown wise, but he really made up for that in the yards. Um, he had 49 receptions for 1,001 yards, and his average was a whopping 20.4 yards per reception, which is insane. Um, as long as 56, he had two touchdowns. You know, kind of, you know, is not what you want from from your, you know. He's not the number one because I think Keenan is at number one, but Mike Williams is a big bodied one, you know, if if you know what I mean. Keenan can go up and, and, and make those big catches as well, but, you know, Mike Williams is, you know, that's his main thing. That's his cup of tea. That's his forte, you know. Um, and then, you know, last year, 48 receptions for 756 yards and five touchdowns. So kind of balanced out, um, you know, really. Not that crazy impressive for, you know, of how high of a pick he was. But nonetheless, you know, he kind of fell off radars. And he still is making a pretty decent difference. And, you know, with another year with Justin Herbert under his belt and having, an, you know, a whole offseason, you know, with Justin Herbert, you know, I think that's going to make a big difference as well. I think he can maybe get over 1,000 yards and 10, and 10 touchdowns again. Um, Grand, he does have to stay healthy. Um, you know, he does have some issues with staying healthy. But, you know, if he does stay on the field, you know, he is a really good receiver who is going to make a big difference. And I'm excited to come back to work and and have a, an awesome year with the Los Angeles Chargers with Justin Herbert in the second year. So that's all I got for you guys today in this episode. I do appreciate you watching the joining in to the JW Sports Talk Show, tuning in. Um, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, put that bell on. So that's going to be it for this video. So I thank you for watching. And as always, next time.